Yeah, the popularity of pickleball is starting to uh, take over the public courts, uh, where I'm seeing uh, public courts being uh, totally taken away or um, yeah. sharing with the pickleball. And I believe that my uh, friend who works at a club tells me that you can have four pickleball courts on one tennis court. Yep, this is true. You okay. can fit a lot of pickleball courts on one tennis court. So that's part of it. And it's loud and it's annoying. But the constant noise that the paddle and ball makes is apparently causing some problems for some nearby neighbors. That constant banging, banging, banging all day long. My fun ends when their fun begins. As yeah, we I, we're a bit snobby on it. I, I It's annoying. The sound is annoying. It's a wiffle ball and you're playing with like a... A paddle. It's similar to like that beach thing, Kadima or paddle mm -hmm. ball on the beach. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, in this small court. I think the positive is getting people out there yeah. moving and playing because yeah. it's pretty easy to pick up where tennis can take a while with uh, technique. I, I mean, your club, you were uh, on the summers that you're joined, yeah. the university club that I mean, they I felt like they're building in like the Taj Mahal freaking pickleball courts with yeah. like fans and the, you know covered areas and it was right. looking really nice and I think it was like was it six courts or four or something like that right I don't I don't remember how many were there but the popularity has exploded because mm -hmm. of the ease of play with the mm -hmm. technique and the availability I guess with well, you don't the, have to, with the public courts you don't have to I feel you like don't you don't have to don't, move you don't yeah you don't <laughs> have to move the physicality yeah. of it isn't like tennis where you have no. to run and all the mechanics between getting your serve right and getting yeah. your forehand right, bending your knees right, getting right. the form. You're just, your biggest thing is hitting the ball back and staying out of the kitchen. And you're hitting a wiffle ball. And you're hitting a wiffle ball. Yeah. <laughs> so it annoys us as a tennis player. I guess, I guess, okay, let me put it this way. I probably wouldn't have a problem with it or probably tennis players would have a problem with it if you didn't take away tennis courts for it. They take away courts and then... You know, there's an etiquette where you're um, you keep your voice down, and um, you know, when watching, yep. you don't speak in between the play. And uh, when playing, I mean, it's a little bit different on public courts or even at at a club. But um, you don't want to be talking like a lot, and uh, it's it's always doubles. So you know, there's always four people playing, and then there. Always seems to be like four people waiting to play too, and they're busy. commenting on every shot, and it gets loud, and they don't know mm -hmm. the etiquette because they've never been on a court, so it's annoying hearing the sound and then hearing the people. So constant banging, banging, banging all day long. My fun ends when their fun begins. Pickleball players, we're out there watching this, just like, I don't know, just keep it down a little bit, and um, <laughs> you don't need to comment on every 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 play. Like, Well, I guess, have I told you my story uh, about pickleball and and rude pickleball players? They, like, tried to put a net up while you're playing or yeah. something? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, why don't you tell it? So I've seen this. So <laughs> just to cut you off. I I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. The public courts, you know, I might have around a video the country, of this too. they've been eliminating the tennis courts altogether just to have them because yeah. you can have four. Mm -hmm. Or uh, the other option is they put down their own lines within the tennis court. So the public courts will replay on some of them. They have the pickleball lines. It's not that big a deal as tennis players. I mean, it's, you don't really want to see it. But anyway, it's they just button. bring their own net and then they put it up there, you know, with those lines. Yeah. So I guess our beef is with the uh, the lack of courts that are yeah. public and the sound and then mm -hmm. the people that play it. But uh, constant banging, banging, banging all day long. <laughs> what's the, what's your story so my story when i lived uh a little south of here in punta gorda i used to play with this uh, my friend tito shout out to tito and tito. Uh, tito. and uh, there was two courts we the only time we could play best for us was early in the morning so we go in early in the morning like seven o'clock in the morning go hit and there's two courts. weekend or before work just before work okay um there's two courts two tennis courts but they had pickball lines yeah and the pickleballers were crazy. They'd show up around 9, 8.39, and they were like, we, we got the court. Get the F off, basically. 
So sometimes they were cool, sometimes they were jerks. One time they took the one court, fine, whatever. We're still finishing up. We're in the middle of a freaking point. It was just like, like we're hitting serve, you know? And then these two guys take the net and they set it. I I think Tito has a video. I'm going to freaking steal it and post it here. They put it right in front of me and they I walk away. I just rip the shot right at them. Well, I was going to do that. And I was like, they aren't putting a net in front they're putting a net and I looked at them. I'm like, are you seriously effing leaving this here? <laughs> and then they're like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, no, they didn't. The guy that was running the show, like, oh, sorry. And then like these drones finally, okay, we'll move it. So you can yeah. I, I, that is why I have, personally, I have a sour taste on pickleball. Probably when I get older and I can't freaking move, I'll be a fan. But at the moment. <laughs> and we don't want to see it on the tennis show either. Like, yes. <laughs> but. These former players, tennis players, are, are trying to uh, pick it up. There's this guy, Noah Rubin. He never really made it on the tour. He uh, Yeah, no, he's like one of the top. He has this uh, social now, right? media thing called Behind the Racket where he gets into uh, personal stories of tennis oh. players. I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's no. an Instagram. It's a good, it's a good Instagram it account. Okay. He, they show like the, the person puts their racket in front of their face, I guess, because they're telling, they're being vulnerable. It's like about uh, vulnerability on how much, you know, their life sucks or, you know, whatever okay. struggles they've gone through and overcome. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just helps people like to relate to uh, mental struggles. Anyway, he uh, he's a small guy. He never really made it. He was he was trying to make it. And mm-hmm. now he's trying to pick it up pickleball. And then the, um, the other USA guy that uh, Sam Query. Yeah, I heard he got into pickleball. Yeah, too, right? so he's trying to get into it. Yeah. So we'll and, see. Uh, who's? Oh gosh, I'm gonna forget the freaking name. Female. She retired a while back, and then she came back for a little bit. Kim oh. Kleisters? Yes, she she's got, playing too. Yes. She could dominate it. Kleisters got into freaking pickleball. I saw it. All right, so uh, that's our pickleball spiel. Yeah. <laughs> But I think it's one of the fastest growing sports yes. and it's getting people active. So it's a good thing to get active. But from a tennis player standpoint, it's just play tennis. I mean, <laughs> yes. but maybe yes. it's like an intro to it, though. You know, like a racket sport, you know, you got a racket in your hand and then maybe be like, all right, what's the next level? But I don't know. I so think you've been down here in Florida for how many years? Nine years. Nine years. Did you see this in the last nine years really kind of pick up at all? I just or? saw the last two. So I was, you know, I'd lived, I'd been back in Florida since 2017, and then I was in Chicago for three years. And before that, I was in northern Michigan. And I started to see pickleball back then. We're talking 2013, 14, start to pick pick up, and it was crazy. So I, I'd played inside indoor tennis at the YMCA, and then they had built a new facility, and they built like eight new tennis courts inside of there. Okay. So when they moved and their old facility had six courts, they decided to turn all those into pickleball. And then they used because it was all tennis. So I was like, what the F's going on? <laughs> and they were always busy. And this yeah. is, we're talking 20, like I said, 2012, 2013, 2014, around there. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And to see it now, we're 2022, and it's <laughs> growing. Yeah. It's like when we were growing up, he's a little bit older than me. Just a little. <laughs> One month. One month. <laughs> it's like racquetball when we were growing up, you know, yeah, that was like a trend. I mean, that, I guess that was bigger, but it's mm-hmm. someone, It's somewhat similar. It's probably the new racquetball, but we'll see. We'll this see. is the remnants of some of the old school. You see the racquetball court still, yeah. out, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that's, our, so, that's our pickleball spiel. We we're trying it. to promote tennis, so...